Hello, welcome back. Uh, so let's say the situation is like this. Uh, we have an employee table and uh, we want to increase, uh, we want to give a salary raise to employee 7839. And uh, the current salary of employee 7839 is 5000. And let's say we decided to give him a raise to 8000. Okay, So his new salary is going to be 8000. The data entry clock is told to update this salary to 8000. But instead of that, if the data entry clock gave an update statement something like this where he is sending the salary to 80,000 okay so then how we can keep track of who is the data entry entry operator who has updated this wrong value and exactly when he has changed this thing and the reason we need to know this information because let's say this employee table is used to calculate the monthly salary for employee king if we are going to give him a wrong data, which is 80,000, then basically we are paying him more than whatever his salary is. Okay, so in that case, we, we need to know, and then somehow, you know, down the line, we might realize at wh which month or which date we make this mistake. Okay, so if we keep track of this information that what was the new, what was the wrong value, and when that wrong value has been entered then we can backtrack all those things and we can again give him the fair value fair salary whatever he's supposed to get okay so how do you basically in this case whenever some update is happening then we should keep track of in another table about the old value new value when this thing got changed and who made this change so that we can figure out we can figure it out who is the culprit here who is basically making this wrong information into the into this place okay this is basically called auditing okay so the question is how do you make this automatically auditing that means if some part okay I'm not saying if I update this thing nothing is going to happen but only when I'm updating this column the salary column then I need to make a trigger so that the trigger is going to fire and then it is going to going to insert into some log table or some audit table these values whatever I need to uh, no okay so to answer that uh, for here is a solution the solution is very simple we create a trigger called m underscore audit and then we also create a audit underscore table in audit underscore table we are going to have this you know five columns first one is employee number old salary and what is the salary before and new salary what is the new salary and then the user is a who is the user who is making that update okay and change that when that update happened okay so then we will we will uh, the event for this trigger is before update like you now whenever we want to update employee table for for each row we are going to execute this piece of sql pl sql code okay and then here we are saying that if updating sal that means if you if you want to do an update set ename is equal to something then no no action is going to going, going to happen because i am having a condition here that if only if and only if I am updating the salary column then I need to do a insert insert into what insert into this audit table and what are the values the values are old underscore employee number so old underscore employee number means whenever we are updating 7839 so this 7839 is the old value of employee number okay and then we are saying that old underscore sal so basically salary has two values right now the value that was originally 5000 and after update we are making it to 80000 so therefore we have old underscore sal will be 5000 new underscore new dot sal will be 80000 80, okay so now whenever we are going to do old dot emp number we enter here 7839 then old dot sal which is 5000 and then new sal which is 80000 and then who is the user who is the logged in user who was updated like for example if i log in as scott then the username is scott or if you want to if you want to log in as my username say abc then the username is abc and change that is what says that the date when this thing when this in when this when this update statement occurred so now if you see so this is an use of a trigger that we can audit a column we can audit a column with audit audit and very critical column whenever something is changing then automatically we are going to insert into the log file and if you have this kind of things in place then you can definitely you can really audit your 
transactions and you can uh, if, if anything wrong happened then you can always backtrack it